Why have you come here? I'm answering your summons. Why are you asking me, why am I coming here, when you know that you summoned me, and that's why? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Run. The Jarl wanted to see us. Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. That is absurd. And you're probably mistaken. So, Lydia, we never got a chance to talk. Wow, you are certainly a lot more attractive than I expected a house Carl to be. I was expecting a woman to be very stern and manly looking. But you're quite beautiful. But stay here for now. I want you to stay safe. Jarl, you wanted to see me? Thank you for your role in all of this. It'd be my honor should you decide to make White run your home. Speak with Preventus. He'll make the necessary arrangements. Can you tell me who the Greybeards are? They're the masters of the way of the voice. Of shouting. They live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really Dragonborn, They'll want to talk to you. In the old stories, they always summon the Dragonborn for training. And what do you know about shouts? In the old tales, Nord heroes would use the power of their voice to shout down the gates of cities and strike down their enemies. But only the Greybeards study the way of the voice anymore. If you can shout, you need to talk to them. And what does it mean to be Dragonborn? Well, in the old tales, the Dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfhearth was Dragonborn. Talos too, the founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days, in the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Keep safe. All right, I might need to go and see the Greybeards. <clears throat> All right, let's go. All right, Lydia, you stay safe for now. I'm almost ready to leave Nematis here. I don't know if I should take two followers or not. No, I don't know what I'm up against. Let's go. I, I don't want to bring a woman into, into danger. Let's go. We're headed to Iverstead. Let me see if I can summon a second horse. Calling Dr. Bombay! Calling Dr. Bombay! Emergency! Come right away! No! I absorbed the spell. Try again, Dr. Bombay, emergency, come right away! There. Oh no, I can only summon one. All right. 
right, Nematis, it's time for us to climb those stairs. I know it would probably be better to do it during the day, but time is of the essence. We have a war going on. And I want to try to take care of this before too much time. What? Nematis! Get that mare! Nematis! There's two of them! I did some research before we embarked on this quest. I need to read all of these. I don't know what you want to call them. They're not really shrines, but whatever they are, I need to read each one of them as I proceed up the 7,000 stairs. Might be a little hard with it being so dark though. I might miss one. an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Did you hear the Greybeards called Dovahkiin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. And what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. All right. I... Thank you. All right, so emblems we're calling these. need to read all of them. They're, they're scattered throughout the trail. All right, Nematis. I'm sorry I couldn't get you a horse. I thought I saw something move up ahead. Oh, no, it's a troll. I found out that I'm Dragonborn now, rather than when I first uh, joined the College of Winterhold and barely had any power at all. Another troll? these trolls with ease. Oh look, another emblem. Looks like it's uh, 
must be early in the morning. The sun is starting to come up. these people made these um, pilgrimages up these stairs with trolls out here like this. Here's another one. And someone meditating. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Oh, well, excuse me. Could you tell me at least what you're doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Very well. And did you happen to hear the Greybeard's call, Dova King? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Mm. Mm. All right, well, there's another one. Okay, Nematis. Close. Were, were there any more emblems? Did we miss any? I just just feel like I'm missing something. <gasps> Another troll. Where you come from? Oh. That's the end of that. Okay. Ah, here's the next emblem. There's a rumor, Nematis, by reading all of these, it, it gives you some sort of ability. So make sure you're reading them, too. Okay, it looks like another one. I thought it was, um, getting lighter out, but I'm not sure. Some really nasty weather. I can only hope I haven't missed any. I think we're getting close to our destination. And here's another. Oh! The map! I suppose that's fair. I'm sure your feet are killing you. Let me go ahead and... I'll walk. What? You left the... Nomadus. I think we're almost... 
almost there anyway. Dr. Bombay can catch up, or dematerialize, or whatever comes first. Okay, here's another one. Hell, you see that? That castle in the distance? I think that's where we're headed. some sort of ability. We can research it later. Okay, I have food, I think. Yes, here we are. Clemix Supplies. them something to eat. All right, I hope you're ready, Nematis. There's no telling what's going to happen once I enter here. We've stopped. What is it? I'm just trying to prepare myself. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I... I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Very well. Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm a Dragonborn. It is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Thank you. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I'm answering your summons. Why are you asking me, why am I coming here, when you know that you summoned me, and that's why? We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. All right then. Well, I think I have some questions though. Who are you and what is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the Voice of the Sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. All right then, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Oh, look at, look at when you is. shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. 
Interesting. That's quite some magic you possess. What? Wait! This writing, it's the, the walls that I've encountered before. But learning the word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Uh, what? Oh. oh my goodness, the power! Let us see how quickly you can master your new form. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well, okay, here goes. Well done. Again. Okay, here goes. What? It's gone. At least give me a minute to prepare. Alright, I guess there's no time but the present. Got it! You learn quickly. Why, thank you. Again? Impressive. It is. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Okay. Um, yeah. Is it okay if Nematis comes? I guess they're not objecting. Come on. See that you have already begun to learn the whirlwind sprint shot. Master Bore will teach you Kest, Tempest, the third word of whirlwind sprint. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a throne. <laughs> I'm understanding these words. Oh. Power. I never dreamed. Now we will see how quick we can master a new word. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! <gasps> what? It's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. All right. Rex! I did it! Quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. 
I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I... I, I don't know how I did that. It, it just happened. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. The man the is no, the don't of worship Jürgen me. The Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. There are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Potanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. And who was Jurgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, the master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Thank you for standing, Nematis. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh no, Nematis! I, I do have a few more questions. Um, wh what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneris. At the dawn of time, she gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. I will try to follow the way of the voice. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. All right, then. I, I will do that. Sky, got you. Thank you. Nematis, you've got to stop the, the worshipping. Come on, let's go. I'm still here. are certainly looking a lot brighter out in the front. All right, let's see where we need to head next. All right, it looks like we need to retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller. All right, Nematis. Let's go.